Hey, Eastview family, happy Tuesday to you. Really hope that this week has started off well. You know, we're in John 17, and it's the priestly prayer. It's the final part of this upper room discourse. And Jesus is praying towards us to his heavenly father, but he's also praying over his followers. He's praying over ultimately of us. And there's something key in here that once again, Jesus is talking about throughout the book of John. John has captured this theme about eternal life and about believing that Jesus is the son of God, that he's the true Messiah and that it isn't just about like a knowledge that is um, of knowing like um like a mental knowledge but it's about truly believing and we see Jesus himself go right back to this I'm looking at John 17 verse 3 he's praying and he says this and this is eternal life that they know you the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent he's speaking about himself He's saying this, this is eternal life that they know you. I encourage you, if you have um, a Bible dictionary or a Bible app, look up that word know, because it's not just a knowledge-based know, or even as uh, my commentary over here says, it's not just a, a merely abstract knowledge, but this is a personal, relational knowledge of life and eternal life with Jesus. Not something that's far away, but something that can be experienced now, even now, you can tie it in with when Jesus talks about having joy to the full. Eternal life is the glimpses and beginnings of that joy and satisfaction that we're going to have eternally with Jesus. We can have that now. And what's super interesting to me is years and years later, John, again, the author of John, is writing. And in First John 5, he's talking about this personal belief like the only way to eternal life is truly believing in a relational belief of Jesus not just a I know this to be true but like I believe this to be true first John 5 20 says it in this way he says and we know uh, that we have seen and we know by personal experience that the son of God has actually come into this world and has given us understanding and insight so that we may personally know him and who he is. He is the true son, Jesus Christ. Listen to those words again, right? I'm uh, reading it in this way. And we have seen and we know by personal experience that the son of God has actually come to this world and has given us understanding that and we may personally know him who is true, as in Jesus, the only way to eternal life. And so I I encourage you today. I don't know how how you how far you are along in your journey with Jesus or where you're at currently today, but would you just take a few moments and just maybe ask the Holy Spirit to refresh you in a way that you can experience Jesus in a new relational way today. Maybe let this scripture sink in a little bit deeper. Jesus desires not for you just to know of him, but to truly know him. And that is the only way to eternal life. Guys, thanks so much. I pray you have a great day.